so I'm making a couple of Arrow of Light awards for Weevilos. That's the um, final, I guess, rank that you get before you transition into the Boy Scouts. So this is kind of like an eagle for a Cub Scouts. Um, what I did is I cut two sections, a back plate and a front plate. The back plate, I cut this little thing on right here. It's uh, t there. There are the little ridges and stuff like that. That's for hanging this on a wall, and that section right there hides right behind this. So when I stack these two plates together, you can see that disappears. And the reason for cutting two plates is the back one is going to be painted the Weeblos yellow color, and the front one is going to be painted the blue color. Most people would probably do it the other way, but um, I did a couple sample pictures. And I thought the contrasting colors look better. And we're going to be hanging a yellow arrow on the front of this, and so it'll contrast with the blue better too. Uh, it'll have feathers hanging off of it. I'll, I'll get some final pictures of it here in a couple of weeks when we do the awards. Anyway, um, what I plan on doing, because I have to paint these before putting them together so I can't weld them, I'm going to either drill holes in them and rivet them together or put some rivets in there that I actually peen the back side so it has a, a an edge it's nice and flat you put it through turn it over um, I bought a peening hammer which I didn't have and I can peen the back side so I haven't decided which way I'm going to do it yet if the rivets sit flat enough I'll probably do those if they don't I'll probably peen it I, I haven't decided anyway these are the awards and we'll see how it goes all right, I have these taped together. I, I ground them down. I figured I, I won't show that. I won't show myself drilling the holes either because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. But I taped the front and the back together. And I could have pierced these holes with um, the plasma and got them lined up exactly where I wanted to. But I didn't know exactly what I want to do yet. I, I don't know still yet if I'm going to use rivets or... Yeah, I don't know yet. So I'm about to do a couple of tests. Um, but I'll decide what to do and then I'll drill the appropriate size holes. I'll probably just do four of them. I might have to do a fifth somewhere, I'm not sure. Maybe a sixth. Maybe one here and here, I'm not sure. Um, I'll just play it by ear, I guess, and uh, we'll see how it goes. These are the two types of rivets that I'm talking about, if I can get the camera to focus. A regular... Um, I forget the name of these pop rivets and then this other type of rivet here um, that you peen on the one side I didn't think about it these pop rivets are brown I might have to go back and get some silver ones but I don't know we'll see all right I drilled two holes in this and I'm going to just clean up the back side of the flap disc and go ahead and try it Okay, so two things wrong with this. First, I drilled the hole too big, so there'll be a little slop in there. Second, I didn't get a long enough rivet. It was just barely long enough, and it uh, I was able to knock it in there. And I think it'll hold fine. I like how flat it is, but that won't hold at all. Um, I'd have to get a longer one of those, which I could easily do. So I'm going to try the popper, popper of it. pop rivet but it leaves that thing protruding out the back which I which I didn't want I can grind it down a little bit but I think it'll weaken it to a point so what I think I'll do is I think I'll do these other ones I'll grind this one down just as a test but I'll do these other rivets I like how flat they are and everything I forgot to mention I cut out these little hooks same material 16 gauge so it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick these will mount onto the signs and hold the arrow that goes on it. Um, I built it exactly so that this bottom lines up with the bottom of this arrow here. All I have to do is line it up, tack it on, and it should line the arrow up right in the middle of this arrow.
<laughs> Side view. Just going to hold that arrow. Okay, it's a few days later. I've been painting these. Um, I've let them cure since yesterday evening. So almost 24 hours and I'm going to go ahead and put them together. And when I do, because of the hooks that I put on the front to hold the arrows, right here, I'm going to have to uh, suspend that in the air. So I'm going to take these blocks and I'll put the plate down on that um, after I cover these with a the paper towel so I don't mar the the uh, end product, and then I'll uh, put the tin rivets on. Not too bad. Some of this is just dirtiness. It'll wipe up some of it. I might need to paint the back side of this. But it isn't going to be seen, so I don't know that I'm going to worry about it. There's a little warping. Um, when it's supported on the outside edges, it is warped down here, but if I hold it up flat and push it out just a little bit as it'll hang on the wall, it's not so bad. There's nothing I can do about it now, but I'll have to be careful in the future. I think what happened is when I welded these on, it shrunk this up just a little bit here and this warped, but it'll look better when it's uh, not laying down flat like this. This one has about the same amount of warping and in the exact same place as the other one. So when I have it all pushed out like this, there's a little bit of a gap up here. I'm just going to put a little piece of that VHB tape and pull it together. Should look good. This is the VHB tape. I think it's about a 32nd of an inch thick. This, uh, the, this one that I have, actually it might even be thinner than that. So I'm just tiny, a couple tiny little pieces, that's all I'm using. Here they are on a yellow background. It'd look better if I had them contrasted against something else. I think they turned out all right, out all right. Uh, if I do some more of these in about a year or so, I'm getting some new scouts. Then I'll have to just keep in mind where I had a little bit of the warping and stuff and see what I can do.
Next up, I'll get some pictures of the actual award ceremony. 